Hey, como se va? And welcome back to the Dr. Butt Show. I'm Dr. Butt. Now, as I said before we went to our break, I have a very special guest. His name is Dr. Mouton, and he is a director of the New Iberia Primate Research Facility. Welcome to the show, Dr. Mouton. Could you tell us a little bit about the New Iberia Primate Research Facility and what it is that y'all do over there like that? Well, thank you so much for having me on the show, Dr. Bud. And to answer your question, uh, nobody really knows for sure what we do at the Primate Research Facility. But I am here to talk about my work using primates for studying COVID-19 treatments. Dr. Bud, as you know, I've spent most of my career studying Cajun holistic remedies for treatment of various diseases. Uh, So this COVID-19 is no exception. So we've been studying some of those methods with the primates right here in New Iberia. Man, that's very interesting, Dr. Mouton. Can you tell us more about what you found by working on the monkeys like that? Absolutely, Dr. Bud. And as a scientist and fellow member of the community, you know that the concept of social distancing has everyone upset. What we did at the monkey farm is we took the monkey's cages and we moved them six feet apart, a little more than normal, come sa. And what we found is that they threw feces less accurately once we had the social distancing in place. Now, how does this relate to us? Well, if we're six feet apart, we can't accurately throw the coronavirus at anybody, say, in the grocery store. Now, Dr. Mouton, you were mentioning y'all were studying Cajun uh, lifestyle hacks as a way to, to, to practice social distance. Tell us more about how our Cajun culture has uh, influences on social distancing, especially you were talking about Mardi Gras? Th- that's correct, Dr. Butt. And it may sound crazy to some of y'all watching at home, but a lot of these concepts we've been practicing our entire life. Man, that's very true, Dr. Mouton. I can remember when I was growing up, we used to go do the chicken chases at Mardi Gras. It reminds me a lot of go, having to go out to get groceries. You put on the mask, you get drunk, you go out there with a whole bunch of other people, they're drunk and they ain't got their masks on and y'all all fighting and scrambling all over each other just to get some chicken. You know, it's a good point, Dr. But Louisiana currently has a D plus in social distancing. A lot of that has to do with our own culture and our need to do certain things. For instance, all these people that went to church, We conducted a study. We brought 300 monkeys to St. Anne's Catholic Church in New Iberia. And you would not believe the results that we found there. Please tell me more, because in our last segment, we talked about the power of prayer and my novena and chain letter program, uh, my chain prayer program, that is, to uh, combat the the coronavirus. So I'd like to know more, me, about about this little uh, experiment with the monkeys and putting them in church. Unfortunately, the results were inconclusive, but what we did find is that they stood when it was time to kneel, they kneel when it was time to sit, they sat when it was time to stand, then things went from bad to worse because at communion, one of the monkeys bit the priest's finger off. Another study that you'll find interesting is we tested the efficacy of the power of prayer over COVID-19. We gave rosaries to five Catholic monkeys that tested positive for COVID-19. The results were astounding. Please, Dr. Mouton, on pins and needles, me, I want to know because I'm very interested in the power of prayer versus COVID-19. So illuminate me, Dr. Dr. Mouton. Unfortunately, three were estrangulated and the other two never got past the first Hail Mary. And what's the current status of those two monkeys, uh, Dr. Mouton? The good news is that they're both still Catholic. 